What's the difference between a sociopath and a psychopath? This is a very common query. Now, it's about time I introduce myself. My name is Simone. Hit that subscribe button down below, like and share if you enjoy this video. Now, people who work in mental health can greatly differ in their opinions on this matter. My answer to this query is not going to come from just a textbook. It's going to come from my own personal experiences and opinions, as well as my own studies and research into this topic. The first thing I want to say is that sociopaths and psychopaths are one in the same. A psychopath is merely just an extreme version of a sociopath. Many people say that psychopaths are born and sociopaths are made. Let's get into it. So a sociopath is someone who has antisocial personality disorder. I'm not a fan of that term because it doesn't fully explain what makes someone a sociopath. And the truth is, because sociopaths are often very good with superficial charm, they can actually be very skilled at socialising and engaging with people and can easily blend in with normal society. But the antisocial aspect of sociopaths is that their ability to charm and engage people is often for self-serving purposes. They are manipulative and will use, that, will use people for their own gain. I often call sociopaths social psychopaths. They are social chameleons and rarely do they form genuine attachments or feelings towards others. They are extremely low on empathy. They have little remorse. They manipulate others and will often get others to do their dirty deeds. Laurie Vallow is a very good representation of a sociopath. She was able to manipulate her brother into killing her husband so she could collect the life insurance. And when you look at her behaviour after her husband was killed, it's absolutely clear that she felt no remorse whatsoever. The only thing she was upset about is the fact that she didn't get his money. But it's also possible that she has psychopathic traits also, and often people can be a mixture of the two evils. Now, a psychopath is someone who has no empathy whatsoever, no feelings for others, no feelings of guilt or remorse, no conscience. They are far more impulsive than sociopaths and therefore far, far more dangerous. So whereas a sociopath like Laurie Vallow will manipulate her brother into killing her husband for monetary gain, a psychopath is more likely to enjoy killing for their own pleasure. So a psychopath doesn't need a motive to kill someone. They actually get off on the excitement and thrill of doing harm to others. It's not about a religious motive or monetary gain. They actually enjoy the thrill of committing crime simply because they are excitement seeking and they will go to extreme length to seek their excitement. Serial killer Israel Keys is a perfect example of a psychopath. He enjoyed killing because it gave him the thrill and sensation that he was looking for. He didn't care about the victims. He didn't need a motive. It wasn't about monetary gain. Most sociopaths have a motive for killing someone or having someone killed. Laurie Vallow had a motive for having her husband killed. Psychopaths kill purely for enjoyment or because they are impulsive. So that's why they are more dangerous. Not all psychopaths are killers, but it's very unlikely that a psychopath can live their entire lives crime-free or go completely undetected. Sociopaths, on the other hand, can go a long time without being detected because they are not as impulsive as psychopaths who are very impulsive, prone to frequency of rages or outbursts and are more consistent with their deviant behaviour. So if you don't understand the difference between a psychopath and a sociopath and a sociopath and a psychopath, I truly hope this helps. They are basically one in the same but a psychopath is a very extreme version of a sociopath.